So last time Pam and I went backpacking, she flew out to Washington State and I took her on a trip. I got to teach Pam a little bit about backpacking and this like activity that I love so much. But this time we are here in Virginia where we both grew up and Pam is planning the backpacking trip. <laughs> are you excited about it? I'm nervous. The student has become the teacher. <laughs> This is my show, gosh darn. We are at the REI flagship store here in Washington, DC. Pam and I are going to split up. I'm gonna go get some stuff from inside the store and Pam is gonna tell you about the hike that we're going on. <laughs> go team! Okay, I have my list. That's all you. Oh gosh, why did I just get so nervous? While Pam is outside, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I am building a backpacking kit for Pam, and at the end of this trip, she's gonna to get to keep all of it. One of the main reasons she told me she hasn't gone backpacking again is that she just doesn't have all of the gear. So I thought it'd be really cool to build her a kit and then let her keep it. So let's go shopping. So the hike that I have planned for us, we are going to be going to False Cape State Park. There's gonna be a lot of beach hiking. I wanted to have a hike that was gonna be fun, first and foremost, that Miranda probably hadn't done before because she grew up in Virginia. I didn't wanna necessarily go to the mountains just because she gets to go to the mountains all the time. I was looking for good stuff for the time of year, but not a ton of elevation. I was looking for mileage, but not a ton, you know? I wanted that middle ground. So I feel like I found it and it's gonna be so beautiful. I'm really excited about it. Here we go. First aid kit, bear canister, ditty sacks, boom, trowel, sit pad, odor-proof bag for trash. Okay, pot and stove is here. The thing you should know the most about Miranda, she's the most authentically herself person ever. Look at this pillow, look at this mushroom pillow. So the Miranda that you see on camera is Miranda in real life too. She is funny, she is silly, she is goofy, and she's a joy. Okay, next up, tenacious tape, which is like a repair tape. Just in case. Hello. She's a side sleeper, so I think I'm gonna get her this fellow. A little bit cushier. I'm getting her a Katadin Be Free, just like me. It's a spork. You really like the long spork, right? I like this one. So you can like eat into long packages. So there's just three more things on my list. One is a rain jacket for Pam. I'm also a little nervous because there's a little bit of rain potentially forecasted for the next day. She did say she's having a mustard moment right now, so I feel like this is pretty good. I haven't hiked in the rain before, so that could be a whole brand new experience for me. Okay, last thing is the sleeping bag. Marmot actually makes a plus size sleeping bag, so I'm really excited. I think Pam's gonna love it. I think we're gonna have a great time either way because Miranda and I always have fun when we're together. Pam doesn't know that she gets to keep all of this stuff. I'm gonna grab her and have her try on the jacket, but it's gonna be a total surprise at the end of this trip when she gets to take home everything in her pack. I'm gonna go meet up with Miranda and see what kind of gear she's picked out. Over that way. This store is so cool. Zigzag through. Marco. Hi, Pammy. So you said you need a rain jacket, right? Since there's yes. a chance of rain. <laughs> I thought the mustard would be good because you're having a mustard moment. I do love mustard. I know, I thought it'd be really cool. I did also bring my crop tops. <gasps> did you? Oh I my did. gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Lady. Ooh. Yeah. I think? like it, yeah, yeah. The Here. sleeve the sleeve length yeah. is really good. I love the hood. But let me show you. <laughs> so you can like do this. So you can adjust the hood. That's cool. Ooh, I love this color. I like it too. Does the size feel good? I think so. Fashion moment. So the last thing we need to pick up is some backpacking meals and some fuel, and then we'll be all set. Fire pot is some of my favorite stuff. I want biscuits and gravy. I ate this in Seattle and it was amazing. I kept yeah. looking at this chicken Alfredo. Man, you get me with like... pictures. You put a picture on the packaging and I'm there. I kind of want to get a dessert. Are you really thinking about a dessert or are you just hangry? I'm hangry. Oh, I just want to eat right now. We are ready to check out. Look at these cool Nalgene. I realized that I only brought one Nalgene with me. So my current one is green. I want one that's not green. Okay. I like this one. It's also this one. <gasps> that one, that's yeah. the one. Sweet. I changed my mind. I love a pine tree. Now we're checking out. Oh, but look at these. I'm not changing my mind. You're hungry. We need to get you fed. 
hike starts tomorrow. There has been a change of plans. Our weather at False Cape State Park is starting to look really bad, and there is supposed to be thunder and lightning tomorrow night and then into Thursday morning. So we have changed our trail and we are instead going to Assateague Island, which is on the northern part of the Virginia, Maryland coast. But the weather there looks way better. And it's literally almost 7 p.m. the night before, and we are changing our trail. Which is why it's important to always have a backup plan, right? And Assateague Island was one of our backup plans. That's true. So pivot. Pivot. Right. And here we go. And that was also on your list, right? Yeah, it was one of the other sites that I did a lot of research on. It was one of the ones I had picked that we decided not to do, mostly because you have to take in all your own water. There's no potable water at any of the backcountry sites. So yeah. we got to kind of make a couple changes to make that work. But yeah. it's going to be great. You're so prepared. And there are wild ponies there. So there's a possibility we'll see wild ponies. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for the ponies. <laughs> we are going to pack up our bags, like divvy up some of this stuff. I'm jazzed, I think it's really I'm fun. super pumped. And I have the tent poles and the tent stakes. So I'll take the tent body then. Probably need to bring all this instant coffee. <laughs> How the heck, <laughs> compressing it down. Yeah. There we go. I just needed Boom. help from my personal butler. Bear can. I know that it's meant to keep bears out, but it might also keep Pam out. Lock sack, trash bag, and then here's your spork. Beautiful. Okay, so I brought this little stuff sack. I got these for my trip to Europe, but I got them at REI many moons ago too, and I still love them. And I have my pajamas. Oh my gosh, you really have to work to get these open. Miranda. You got it. My fingers aren't working. Gotta Help me. <laughs> I did it once, I can't do it again. So if you press like on the thing, not above it. One more. You can do it. I believe you. I am pressing on it. There it goes. Nice. Yay, Pam. Stupid bear can. I feel like I'm going to forget something. This feels very, very full. The weight of the pack is a little intimidating, but. I'm really excited for the trail. Mm. We good? We're good. Yeah! I think we're all packed and ready. Uh, woo! I'm excited. I'm excited. See you tomorrow! See you in the morning! <laughs> woo, 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 What's up, friends? We are at Assateague Island and we are getting ready to start our backpacking trip. Pam, taking over. Pam's in charge. Pam this is Pam show, wild. gosh darn. This is Pam show, gosh darn. Hype, hype, hype. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you. We have about six miles to get to our campsite at Pine Tree. It's going to be mostly all on the beach here, on the sand, and it's gorgeous. There's like no one here. Are you excited? I'm really excited. Did I pick a good trail? You did pick a did good trail. Did I do a good job? You did a good job. Did a good job. Yeah. Give Pam a round of applause for doing that intro. That was really great. Nice job. One of the really cool things about Assateague is that it's a national seashore and there are actually wild horses that roam around the park here. So we saw some from the car and we've seen a lot of piles of poop. There's lots of signs around that say to not get very close to them because they will charge. Exactly. We do have to be cognizant of that. All right, let's hike. Let's go. Hey, I'm so excited you're here. <gasps> let's go. Let's link armies. <laughs> we trip coming right off the platform. Strong start. <laughs> Look at the ocean. <laughs> oh, look, it's a horseshoe crab shell. You know, when you first asked me to pick a trail, in my wildest dreams, I would not have actually thought we'd end up on a beach. Oh, a dead fish. Miranda, do not touch the dead fish. You're literally actively eating pocket Cheez-Its. <laughs> like, you're gonna touch a dead fish and then stick your hand in your pocket for Cheez-Its? Come on. I'm gonna be crop top twins. I do want to take this off. I'm sweaty. <laughs> Actually, will you take a picture of me? Oh my gosh, yes, of course. Okay, wait, one. Hold on. Dude, you look so legit right now. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> Miranda is my Instagram boyfriend. I love you it. Aw, oh, thanks. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm backpacking in a crop top right now. Woohoo! Looking good. I've always had really wide hips. I think that that's why even when I was very skinny, I thought that I was fat. And I remember standing in the mirror and being like, if these would just go flat, then I would be skinny. 
Bodies are weird and I feel like our generation specifically, we came of age in the early 2000s at the height of you cannot be skinny enough. I'm very envious of Gen Z. Even though it's not perfect, I feel like they do have at least some body positive role models on TikTok and on Instagram and really people are being like, this is what I look like and it's freaking fine. Cheers for two miles! Woo! Woo! No doggo friends. <laughs> yeah, we'll break. We'll break time. Hell yeah. Woo! So close. Are you eating a piece of turd? I'm very clearly eating a protein bar. If you remember on the Florida video, Miranda formed her go macro into this poopy log. So Pam, do you think this is weird? Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Have so you never had a touch year old before? <laughs> <laughs> this is just more fun. Let's see, that's more normal. Make a ball out of it or something. Yeah. Ew. But I'm not gonna hold your hand again for a little while. She's washing her hands. <laughs> Oh. Do you see all the baby seagulls? Are those baby seagulls? Yeah. Are those sand poppers? No, they're baby seagulls. Wait, hang on. Are those sandpipers? I mean, that would be a lot of baby seagulls. Pam is walking ahead of me a little bit here. I just wanted to remind you all that she is carrying a pack full of stuff that she's gonna get to keep at the end of this trip. I'm hoping she loves everything at camp tonight. Like I'm really hoping she like loves the sleeping bag and loves the sleeping pad and pillow and all of that. So that when I get to tell her tomorrow, she'll be like as excited about it as I am. Love you, Pammy! We just hit the three mile mark! Ah, halfway to camp! I've never been on a beach that's this empty before. Oh my God, this is so cool. Pammy, what's your favorite part about this? Being on the beach with my friends. That's really it. <laughs> After we hike along the beach for a little while, we'll cut across the island and then we'll be camping on the bay side by like Chincoteague Bay. Three miles, let's go. Onward. Mm. Look, Miranda, I'm gonna eat my protein bar. I'm gonna eat it like a normal human being. Yeah, but why don't you just try it? Just do it. No, do not touch my bar. Less than two miles to go. Ooh, I'm definitely starting to get tired though. I don't like the soft sand. It's the worst. Yeah, yeah I'm like definitely ready to like lie down, For chill, sure. nap. I think that's it. Oh yeah, pine tree. <gasps> it says pine tree. Oh no, us. For camp. Sweet, so this is us, pine tree campsite. Uh, as you can see, it's like a tent site, but people also can paddle through the bay and camp there as well. We're almost there, less than a mile. <sighs> Definitely feeling the weight of all the water. Look, horse poopies. It's all that chili mac I ate earlier. <gasps> That's the bay. I was really excited to come on this trip, especially because after our Wallace Falls trip, I have like a really nice couple of weeks of really good mental health, feeling really empowered and really strong. It was like exactly what I needed. You are capable and strong and like this world is out there, you know? Yeah. As someone who like makes backpacking content, yeah. I think there's this perception that backpacking is always supposed to be really hard. But like, I really honestly love like short trips. And that's part of why this has been such a good trip. I mean, we've been just kind of walking on the beach and it's been not super strenuous. Backpacking doesn't have to just be like sucky. You know, like it doesn't have to be pain the whole time. I'm sorry, I need to take a moment to look at this view really quick. This is, yeah. this is so pretty. Uh, <laughs> We're almost to camp, we're almost to camp, almost to camp, hey, 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 hey. Oh, I see a picnic table. Oh, I see another picnic table. All right. Oh, you wanna take packs off and go explore? Yeah. Oh man, this one looks really oh, pretty yeah. with this view. Cool. Oh, oh look. Oh, oh, this might be the best okay. spot. Hang on. Oh my gosh, can we camp here? Yeah, we can totally camp here. I think we're gonna camp here. Are you guys okay with it? We're gonna go back and grab our packs and then set up and hang out. And take my boots off. Yes. <laughs> and you'll notice there's a bathroom. Randy's <laughs> carrying my pack because she feels like she's not helpful. <laughs> I just don't have any tasks, you know? I don't our task really... is to get to camp and set up camp. I know, but If like... you want, I'll let you set up the tent all by yourself. But no. You can set you... up my tent too. Okay, You can also set... blow up my sleeping pad. Okay. You well, wanna you wanna set up like okay, the whole well, inside of the tent? Any of that stuff when I offered to carry backpacks. All right, we are gonna set up camp. How do you feel right now? 
oh, I feel pretty tired, yeah. but like really good at the same yeah. time. And the sand is nice and packed down. There's these beautiful trees and this beautiful view. I don't have to wear my pack anymore and I can take my shoes off and I'm really excited. Okay, bye. Oh my God. Uh, instant relief. Let's set up camp. Get that stick out of here. Get that pine cone out of here too. I don't want to sleep on that. Get in there. Get up in there. Great. Mom, Miranda, you're so slow. Oh my God. So you go to that corner. Actually this one here. Oh, that's why I'm, I'm doing the wrong thing. Miranda is a really good teacher, I swear. Nice job. Yeah. You just yard sale across this whole table. <laughs> I'm so excited to go to sleep. All right, boom. Are you gonna come snuggle with me? Mm -hmm. Thanks for bringing me on these fun trips. Thanks for being so great and coming backpacking with me. Thanks for wanting me to come backpacking with you. Gosh, are you kidding? I'll do everything with you. If we were in love, this is what I would propose. <laughs> I love this. She flies your foot all the way up here. Can I just tap you on the forehead? No. <laughs> no. Hard no. no. More Pam silly time with the worst. Pam and Miranda. I am not being leg. the worst. You're the one stretching your leg all the way up here. I just literally tapped you on the forehead. Dead. Jeez. I'm fine. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you want to do it to me? You want to just punch me in the face? So our tent is all set up and our sleeping stuff is in here. So we are going to organize our packs a little bit and probably go check out the water. Oh wow, my God, that's awesome. beautiful. <laughs> I'm glad we came all the way out here. Yes, I'm staying. really, really glad that we came all the way to this site. This was yeah. well worth it. I will say that so far I'm in love with the sleeping bag. Oh yeah, you like I, it? I'm I know we talked about this before with like backpacking and camping about whether or not you'd gone again and you said no. Right, I don't have all the gear. Some of the crucial gear is really yeah. what it is. Like I have the gear of like the clothes and attire to wear, but I don't have a tent and you know, don't have like the full sleep system and you know, those kinds of things that are, I mean, they can just be expensive to, to invest in, you know, yeah. cause you want to invest in quality products. But if you want to get good stuff, you're going to have to drop a little bit of money. And so yeah. like, you know, I've been slowly kind of trying to build up my arsenal of backpacking tools. Cause I do yeah. really want to go again. All right, we're going to make some food. Probably have an early night tonight. All right, so Pam and I are using a new stove. So it has a um, piezo lighter on it. Piezo. That's piezo. a fun word. And so you're gonna turn the gas on. We'll start to hear it. And it lights. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool, right? That was pretty cool. This raccoon right here. Oh. Hey. Shh. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Bye. It'll be back later. <laughs> I feel like we're all just now waiting for raccoon. the raccoon. To back out. All right. Boom. Turn this off. Confidence, I love it. Two cups? 16 ounces, two cups, yep. All right, baby, coming in hot. One. Wow, that's perfect! We boiled just the perfect amount of water. I am eating a butternut doll bot from Peak Refuel that I actually have not had before. And Pam has a Mexican style beef bowl with rice and beans. I decided to do that instead of the chicken Alfredo. I went against what I thought I was gonna do. Yeah. Uh, mine is from Alpine, yeah? Alpine. 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 Hey, the raccoon's back. <gasps> Get the heck out of here, little man. It is time to eat the dinner time. It is time to eat dinner time. It is time to eat. That smells and looks amazing. Look at this. Yeah. Mm. Is this a smell cam? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smell of cam. Smell of vision. <laughs> smells very good. Can I smell it? <laughs> all right, we're gonna finish eating dinner and then we will see you all in our tent later tonight. Woohoo! Good night. Good dinner. Good eats. Good eats. Great company. Good He's oldies. So good at this. <laughs> oh, I know, sorry. <laughs> All right, we are in our tent, but there's a 
freaking raccoon that is like trying to get into our tents. I was sitting on the picnic table talking to our videographer and I turn around and it was sitting on the bench behind me, oh. just chilling. Way too bold. Way, way, way too yeah. bold. So we're all a little freaked out by that. The raccoon actually got into Rainer's vestibule in his tent. Um, there's no food or anything in his tent, but the raccoon like clawed a, a hole in the side. What? This is anyway. why you don't feed animals. And this is also why you don't leave trash at campgrounds. Please. There's Thank trash you. in the bathroom left by previous <laughs> campers. <laughs> This is your fault. <laughs> this has been Pam's LNT message. Just um, saying. With all of that, we're gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna face inward so that if a raccoon does come into the tent, at least it will be scratching on not my face side. So, you know, I feel bad that Pam has to have this experience on her second backpacking trip ever. But I mean, this is new for can. you too. It I is. Mean. I'm so excited. <laughs> Good night, Pammy. Good night, Miranda. Good morning from the tent. It rained a little bit last night. It's kind of like on and off drizzling here now, but it's actually sort of pleasant. Pitter patter of raindrops on the tent. I slept much better than I did the last time we went backpacking. That's awesome. This That's sleeping so bag is much better for me than the other one I slept in because there's a lot more room. So I'm able to like kind of move around just a little bit so that I don't feel quite so constricted. Oh my God, you can borrow it. I have a theory about why the raccoon did not come bother us in what? the night. Did you know you snore? No. You snore. I have to imagine that the little raccoon like came up to our tent mm -hmm. and then this little <sighs> happened and he was like Bleh! and oh ran gosh. away. I'm a raccoon deterrent. You're a raccoon deterrent. <gasps> All right, so Pam is in the tent still. It seems like she slept really well. She really likes that sleeping bag. I think the pillow is better for her. Since it's kind of raining and kind of icky out, we'll probably just book it back to the car. But make sure you stick around because once we get to the car is when I'm gonna give Pam all of this gear and I'm really excited to see her reaction and I think she's gonna be really happy. Make sure you stick around, do not leave. What you doing, Miranda? I'm going water for breakfast and coffee. And then make Pammy's Bex skits and sausage gravy. And I forgot to pack a breakfast, so I will be eating these uh, delicious Tahoe Trail Bars and Go Macro Bars. Ooh, nice. Woohoo! We are packing up our stuff in here. It appears that the thunderstorms we were trying to avoid have found us. The sooner we get going, probably the better. It is pouring rain outside, so uh, we're doing like a sort of internal packing situation here. This is my hack for packing up in the rain. Pack your whole bag and then just shove your wet tent on the outside somewhere. It's like worse than Pacific Northwest rain. I'll fold pole. You want a stuffed tent? My hands are so cold, they're not working very well. I do not like that it is raining. <laughs> I don't like the rain. Nervous laughter galore. Nervous oh laughter galore. Good job. <laughs> All right, let's do it. F this rain. Here we go. We are so true. It didn't take long. Brian, I don't know if you know this, but it's raining. Okay. If you could hurry up, that'd be great. <laughs> The weather is clearing up a little bit. The sun's like kind of trying to come out. It stopped raining for right now. That's a pretty good quality of life improvement. Not being pelted in the face with rain. The weather looked like we were to be missed by that, that storm that just came through, but it was actually pretty intense. It was supposed to be like a light drizzle. Yeah. And I would not classify any of what we just walked through as a light drizzle. Yeah. So we're going to keep walking and we will see you all at the trailhead in two miles. Woo! Woo -hoo! Let's go. going as fast as my little legs will take me. Sand is a lot more challenging than you think it's gonna be. <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to get this stuff away. Very excited. Okay, she's coming. Woof, 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 woof. All right. Over there sounds good. I can't wait to take my pack off. Woohoo! Yay, we're done! We Yay! did it! Nice job, Bammy! Oh my gosh! Good work. 
So, Miranda, since I planned the trail, I'll yeah. ask you this time yeah. for your roses and thorns. What was the best part? I think one of the best parts was getting, like, seeing you kind of, like, feel a little bit more confident in the stuff that we were doing and, like, oh, yeah. getting your pack on and, like, sort of knowing what to expect. It was, like, that was a really cool thing for me to see. I feel like my, like, specific rose would be just, like, walking on the beach because I'm, like, from the East Coast. We spent so much time on the beach together in college. Yeah. My thorn was either the raccoon coming into the camp and trying to eat all of our food or the rain this morning, but I'm gonna go with definitely the rain this morning. Being like pelted in the face with hail and like the wind and my pants being so wet, they were sticking to my legs. I did like consider peeing my pants. I did too. Like who would know? No one will know. They're gonna know. <laughs> Before we go, we do have one more thing. Pam, we have a surprise for you. <laughs> cry. <laughs> the last time you gave me a surprise, it was really nice. Well, it was when you gave me my cool cloth. Yeah. Give great. me another cool cloth. No, I don't have another cool cloth for you. I'm sorry. But uh, one thing we talked a lot about is the fact that you haven't been able to go backpacking again because you don't have your own gear. So for this trip, everything that you used and everything that you carried on this trip is yours to keep. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? So your sleeping bag, sleeping pad, the pillow, the tent, bear canister, the stove, water filter, which you didn't have to use, trowel, which you also didn't have to use, but now that's yours to keep as well. So yeah, now you can go backpacking. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What? Did I just dream that? No. Is this a hallucination? What? Yeah, no. That's so nice. That's so nice! <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy because now I can go. Yeah. We can go sometimes when we're not just filming. Like, yeah. we can just go to go. Exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. And I figured now if you want to go, I know you've had some other friends who wanted to go, and yeah. I know your husband's talked about going backpacking, and like now you have two trips under your belt. <sighs> I'm sorry, now I'm really well enough. That was oh. that's really nice. Thank you! <laughs> and I love the tent. I literally, like last yeah. night I was thinking about it and I was like, I want this tent. And I was like, this is going to be the one I get. Now it is your tent. <laughs> my tent. Man, you, now I want to hit you because you were all like, what kind of gear are you going to get? What kind of gear are you going to buy, Pam? Like, yeah, and all this is coming home with us. And this is my new sleeping bag. And <laughs> Exactly. You did you said you said you were like I have wanted to try that sleeping bag out for a while and you know well now I guess I have it and I was like yeah well yeah I guess you do this is like so kind and very nice and I'm very excited I had so yeah. much fun oh Pammy I cried in the first video too <laughs> why do you just like to make me cry <laughs> give me another hug buddy I love you so oh much. I love you so much oh <laughs> we'll make sure you get all the stuff. I got a couple things in here I have to give to you. A few things that left in the car. We'll just make sure before you head out of here, yeah. you have all your things. Yeah, can we eat lunch first? Yeah, yes, of course. If you want to see more of Pam, let me know in the comments below because I love any excuse to hang out with my best friend. Me too, because this is so much fun. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the Miranda the Wild channel, and I will see you all in the wild. Bye. 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 Food, lunch. food, car, car, take my boots off. <laughs>